I started singing at my elementary school when I was really young. It was a really small Episcopalian school that I went to and there was an extremely good music program due to the music teacher slash director there. She was incredible. So she had us playing keyboards and xylophones and little percussive sticks from time to time and I started taking uh, piano lessons with her, moved on to classical piano lessons and I always sang in different choirs and I sang in a classical choir that was really formative for me. Here in the city, Temple University Children's Choir, I did that for a few years. It was all treble music, so I was like, I'm all in on the ball. It's good. I enjoyed it. My biggest accomplishment, I believe, has been doing uh, the EP that I released in 2009 independently. I had no idea what the recording process was looked like from start to finish, from pre-production through post-production as well, the entire thing. And doing that without any knowledge, um, and in a lot of ways without any money, was very rewarding when at the end of the day <laughs> I had a product to sell. It felt great, um, and it was largely due to the people around me and everybody kind of pitching in and doing um, doing a lot of stuff, I called in a lot of favors, etc. But having that product in my hand, that's probably been my, my greatest accomplishment to date. I did that, I did the EP a little bit after uh, I was in a group called Israel and Newbury, incredible gospel group where I spent a year and a half singing uh, alto all over the place with them, it was incredible. Um, and so I think when it came time for me to do my project, I was still in somewhat of a more gospel mode in terms of the sound. So I, I used all live instrumentation and I wanted everything in three-part harmony, <laughs> you know what I mean? And the producer was like looking at me like, Leah, church people are going to like this, but we trying to, you know, branch out. So I was like, no, I need my three parts. So um, I, I think I've grown kind of out of kind of out of that genre a little bit, you know what I mean? Just in terms of sonically, I think I'm less like it has to be three part and I have to have a tambourine and there has to be an organ um, and stuff like that. I'm kind of growing out of that. And also lyrically, I think I have more to talk about content wise. I was a little bit younger then, a few years younger, two years younger. But even so, there's a lot to be learned in a couple of years, so I think I have a broader range of what I want to write about. And then I've been listening more to different music, different people, so there's more to choose from uh, song-wise. I think it's going to be an interesting sound, whatever comes up. I think they're in the process of changing my career, I hope. Um, the experiences themselves were incredible. Well, the experience itself was incredible. Um, going to the studio and it's like all oh, these lights and everything. And, you know, I've not necessarily been in that situation before, uh, especially just to do my music. So I was like, yo, this is so dope. Like, I feel like I can do this. Um, and I think that it was, it was a bit of exposure to an audience that I don't usually primarily get in front of, which was good. Um, and so I think that it's going to serve me well being a BET Music Matters artist, get me in front of a new audience, and um, yeah, kind of maybe give me a little bit of confidence to keep pressing through. <sighs> Persistence does pay off, especially if you're doing something that you should be doing and that you enjoy doing and that other people have kind of confirmed you should do this you know what I mean <laughs> so this, this is to the people who are doing things within their means if that makes any sense you just keep trekking away at it you keep plugging away at it you know what I mean through all the yeses and the noes and the um, people who love you and people who hate what you do you just keep trekking through I guess I'm doing it <laughs> so you can do it but that would be my answer to that. Just keep keep tracking. Don't give up. You know, don't.
don't get so depressed that you just want to stop writing or singing or playing your your uh, instrument or whatever you do. You just gotta keep you just gotta keep doing it, you know. 